You want to you want to take responsibility for 9/11? We we would talk comics were talking about it fucking a week after it happened. Not 5 years. We didn't wait 5 years. To all of a sudden uh, try to get our shit noticed by mentioning it. Mm-hmm. Faggot. God, wow. Uh, this is an interesting uh, quote Ugh. from Mindy of East Brunswick, uh, New Jersey. As crazy as it is, we all have the right to do that, said Mindy, who lost her husband, Alan. I'm just not exactly exactly sure what he's trying to get from that. No one is saying that constitutionally he's not allowed, Mindy. No one is saying that his rights should be removed or he should be imprisoned. We're just saying he's an asshole. All I'm saying is we should have the right to punch him in, square in the face when we see him walking down the streets of uh, New York. Because of the <laughs> pompousness of it. Right. Because of the fraudulent bullshit. How about this? If he If he was just jumping... And if he said, "Look, man, I'm just I've, I've I've always been fascinated by people that jump out windows and suicide. I don't know how you do it. That wouldn't bother me as much because you're not looking for attention by tying yourself into a specific event that 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 really rocked the country." And Jimmy, he's a coward because it says here he's uh, he said he didn't mean to offend anyone in New York where he moved last year. So he's been living in this city for uh, about a year. Oh, he wasn't even here. Yeah, he's in Chicago. That's what I'm oh, saying. Right, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh no, we said that already. That, you know, if you, you know, why don't you really commit and do it in New York and see what kind of reaction you would have got instead of hiding in another city? No, I mean this. he wasn't here during the attack. Oh no, oh yeah. I see. Yeah, Watch no. yeah. yeah, yeah. Wasn't even here for the attack. No, he just moved here, but he decides to take this stunt to another city where he 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 knew he'd be a lot safer. Trying to tie himself into nine eleven just for attention. That's what makes me sick. So it makes everybody sick. I mean, it's mm-hmm. not just me. It's just, you know everybody who's hearing us. So there you have. Well, it. Well, his last name, give it out. I'll give you his name because this is not good. The type of press you want. Kerry Scarbaka, S K R B A K K A. Kerry Scarbaka. That is the name of this jizz bag. And you go to scarbaka dot com, and uh, yeah, you, I, you got a contact. Oh, there you so go. I guess you can get a hold of him some way. Uh, look at his biography. Uh, God, yeah. I hate performance. Studied artists. sculpture and painting. Yeah, uh, and obviously he was too bad at that. Of course he was. He couldn't do anything with sculpture and painting, so he's got to do these uh, photos. Maybe Patrick Swayze could sit closely behind you while you make a pot, faggot. (laughs) (laughs) Went to Japan for a couple of years where he worked in a bar and formed the beginnings of uh, an art career. There you go. Yeah, worked in a bar after he failed at painting and sculpting. Worked in a bar in Japan. Returned home... Uh, left uh, the States for South America to photograph. A year later, I returned to experience the demise of my mother from brain cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so why didn't you throw yourself in jello and say you wanted to experience being a tumor, stupid? Put on a white hat and sit in a big tub of jello. Or how about some, why don't you get a fucking, a big tub of like, uh, of oatmeal and sit in that. There you go. And pretend you're a brain stem surrounded by frustration and crying relatives. Tee hee hee. Yeah, Shit do head. that. Do something a little more personal. Huh? That's what art is. Lay there in a, a bed while someone hits you on the head with a ball peen hammer and uh, be in pain. Or, and then say, well, I'm, I'm just somebody with brain cancer. Or how about this if you want to emulate that? Lay there with your mouth half open and then have your black friend come in and teabag you pretending he's an orderly and you want to scream and yell help, but you can't because you're laying there. You want to emulate a real sick person. Your speech has been taken away by a tumor. <laughs> That's right. There you go. Stop trying to look deep and travel the world, you dope. The phones have exploded. Sally in Illinois. What's up, Sally? Hi. Well, he could have thrown himself into helping old people, too, when his mom was dying of cancer. My question was, I know what the people were thinking. They were thinking before they jumped whether they wanted to be burned to death or whether they wanted to be flattened. Yeah. yeah. And did he light a fire behind him so that he had the actual feeling of it? No, you, you can't find legitimacy in this. Your argument's logical. He's, he's a fraud. Oh, I'm sorry. And also, and I, and what they say is, I mean, what psychologists have said about people that jumped, because I'm afraid of heights. I've stood in tall buildings and looked and went, my God, I'm 50 floors up. People jumped twice as high. as Just the horror that washes over you. It's an instinct thing. Just the horror of looking yeah. over. Yeah, the You don't make a conscious decision of what you're going to do and say, I'm doing it. The, there's no choice in the it's matter. The heat it's is just, so intense. You, yeah. you just, it's an instinct thing to get away from it. That's what I've heard. There's no logical thought that goes yeah, into you, throwing yourself out a window. You become like a trapped animal at that point. Yeah. I think you, well, your, your logic is just, I mean, that's what, that's what psychologists You're backing that. away from fire until yeah. there's nothing else under your feet is yeah. what it is. And I guess you maybe you do make that one decision like, well, this is less painful than that. But some arrogant... Just little little scumbag jumping out of a, a fourth-story window while people photograph him, man. Yeah. 
You're Boy, that really artist. puts you in the mindset of those people, doesn't it? Yeah. No. You're exactly what's wrong with artists. You're a pompous dummy who wants to get a little bit of attention and is trying to tie himself into something disingenuously. That's what you are, scumbag. All right, Pat from New York uh, has a problem with Norton. Who cares? Pat? Yes, sir. What's the problem? Well, listen, um, this man has made money on uh, making fun of people his entire career. Yes. Um, I feel he's a hypocrite. Why? Is this you, Jim? Yeah. Um, you're just, uh, you're making fun of this guy's artwork. He's, uh... He's a shithead and he's a fraud. Here, let, let me cut you off before you... I know what you're going to say. If I've, <clears throat> if I've capitalized by making money off these things, why shouldn't he? Because what I do is... No, it's not uh, 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 it's Whatever really it is. Oh, what is it? What is it's, it? It's the fact that he should have the ability... I mean, art is all about, um... Invoking an emotion. He does have the ability. He art. does have the ability, and he's doing it. And no one's going to take his art away from him. His art. Yeah, no, no one's going to take it away. Uh, it, we're just saying he's a phony. He's a fraud. He's a shithead. He's hiding behind the fact that it's art. I, I don't believe it's art at this point. Well, but like I said, to start this the conversation, to start defining art, that's when you get yourself in trouble. But my opinion, he's really hiding behind his art. And he didn't even commit. He didn't do it in New York where it actually happened. Right. Yeah. So you guys are making fun of uh, women drowning their children. Yes. Uh-huh. Why not? The news media, well, dude, the news media capitalizes. Why shouldn't we? I'm not saying. No, it's not about that. I'm it's telling you, that's why. That's anyone. why I feel comfortable doing it. I'm telling you, that's why. Don't tell me it's not about that. Anyone, you especially, should see. What yeah, doing? and we, I know and, what he's and, doing. It's fraudulent. And we're then going on the air after we tool on uh, tragedies and saying we're only doing this to really show people the horror that was behind drowning your children. Yeah, that's the reason we're doing it. That's always what we preach on this show, isn't it? Yeah, we don't Jack hide. Jackass. We're not hiding. Uh, we're not hiding behind some kind of phony fucking logic behind what we do, what idiot. Do you know? Dude, we're, we're on the air here cracking jokes and you know being jackasses, and we're honest about it. Was? What? Do you know what his motivation was? Yes. What's his motivation? Well, you're assuming it's money. How do you know it's money? Because he's attention. selling the shit. It's attention, dude. He couldn't okay. get attention. I'm, he, I'm answering you. He, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't get, get attention, attention being a right way. he couldn't get attention being a legitimate artist. So he decided, well, this is uh, this will get my name out there. People will be checking out my website and my other photographs, and I am selling this oh, stuff. God. So now he's making money off. Like, of dude, that. dude, let me ask you: Do you really believe? God bless him. I just hope he walks down the you know the streets of New York and one of these NYPD guys uh, recognizes him and punches him in the face nice and hard. Dude, do you really believe? That this pompous idiot jumping out of a fourth floor window and getting attention and getting photographed is a real getting to the minds of 9-11 victims? I mean, I'm asking you just man to man. Do okay, you really buy that? that? Yeah, because that's what he's hiding behind. We don't hide behind anything. We show you all the all the scars that... that, that huh? Was that his audience? Just the victims? No, 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 dude. I'm asking you, do you... What I'm saying to you is this. Do you believe the logic? Do you believe what he's saying? That when he jumped out this fourth floor window... And got photographed saying he's trying to get into the minds of these victims. Do you buy no, that bullshit? No, no, no. You all don't right, that's believe it. Right. That's all we're saying. That's no, what we're saying. I, I just, that's all. That's so what you're we're saying with us. He may be showing people. Uh, Dude, you, you know, just exactly agreed with us. What was happening? What's your problem? Evoking emotion. Dude, you agreed with us. You agreed with us. And evoking I, an emotion, I, I, but to me, you have to do that through some kind of a talent with your art, like me running around, uh, screaming the N word at people. I mean, I'm, I'm being serious. That would evoke an emotion, but is that art? At least when I try to get an emotion out of people, dude, I try to do it through what I'm good at, which is being funny. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I have gallows humor, okay. and that's what okay. I do. All right, laughter is an emotion. But, but my motives... Is getting, well, he's got you guys fed no, 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 my motives are honest about what I'm doing. This guy is not... If this guy was painting, or to me, doing something genuine about 9-11... That people had a problem with. Like, Rudy Giuliani was wrong to go after that person who uh, did, did something with the Virgin Mary because I think the person was being genuine and Giuliani was wrong. I don't buy what this guy is doing. That's why I have a problem with it. Listen, I would like to hear him say that he's, you know, he's donating his money. No, I don't care what he does with his money. That's his business. He's a fraud because he's... make it legitimate then? No. All right, no. Pat. No, Pat, you this just... time is up. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you said what you had to say and then you agreed...